Hi guys, this is World Boss from Bless the Martyr, uh, and welcome to the Heroic Stone Guard Encounter Guide. Um, actually, due to the uh, minor changes in the encounter, I'll be covering both normal and heroic in this video. Um, actually, uh, you'll also see me uh, on my warrior Blitzkrieg, my protection warrior, as this past week our third tank was out, and being that uh, he was my alt was a little more geared than our DPS off specs, uh, I had to step in and tank. Right now, you can actually see on my priest, this is imported from my stream, um, had, was, was having issues with fraps the night of our first kill. Um, but you can see on my priest, uh, actually dealing with the main difference of the heroic mode encounter. And that is the energized tiles. Now what happens is on heroic, underneath the each lion, there's a crystal. Players can click on these crystals, and upon doing so, you'll gain seven stacks of living amethyst, cobalt, jade, or jasper. What you need to do with those stacks is you need to run over the tiles. You'll see them start glowing. They become energized. And during that time, what, ha what it does is the energizing is going to increase all players' damage and spirit by 1%. The tiles reset at 75 and 40 percent as you can see it just happened now so our tile group is running back to get these energized this allows you to beat both the enrage timer as well as it gives the healers the ability to heal and deal with the increased damage without uh, adding more healers from what you were running on normal mode now our strategy was basically all of our range since we're met we've got a melee heavy comp um, was in charge of the tiles. Um, we all just pretty much grabbed them and we went until we got right about 100 stacks at which point we stopped. For our DPS to beat the enrage as well as for our healers to deal with increased healing requirements. Um, so basically when I was doing this uh, I was just keeping my eye on it. Once we hit right about 100 stacks, called for a stop, we stopped DPS. Now the second important part what, what our ranged DPS did is we situated ourselves opposite of where the melee were. This was to allow a lot the melee more room to operate as it lessened the chance that every single cobalt mine or amethyst puddle would be dropped on top of them and that some would be dropped out in front of the raid. Um, as you can see right here, it uh, wasn't working out so well at first, uh, just one pool and one mine. Um, however, just so that those minor, those few puddles those few mines that aren't dropped in melee, um, they will absolutely love you for it. Um, here we're actually going to get into a full kill video um, of me on my protection warrior. Um, and I will be going over the mechanics at that point. Now, another difference between normal mode and heroic is the bottom line is if you get hit by a cobalt mine, you are dead. The healer cannot save you. So don't stand in the cobalt mine. No matter what you say, you have three seconds to get out of it. If you got hit by it, you got hit by it, you were bad, you screwed up. Own it, admit to it. Don't don't say you weren't standing with it because you obviously were. Now here you can see uh, as we are a 25 man guild, obviously all four lines are active. On 10 man, there are only three lines active. I'm, I would imagine this doesn't change on heroic uh, as it would kind of unbalance things for 10 mans, um, but it very well could. Um, Again, I'm not really sure. Um, I, I know with Halfus, you know, it did. Um, but basically the way we deal with it, you kind of saw the positioning. Um, we've got our one tank who's going to be tanking the two lions uh, in the middle of the room, uh, allowing healers and melee uh, some room behind him. And then our ranged DPS is supposed to be out in front of them. Uh, you can kind of see some of them are not um, off to my right, um, which is bad positioning by them. Um, because it really lessens the room for our entire raid to operate, uh, increases damage going out, which is never a good thing. Now, the way we handle the swaps is we have our one tank, um, a protection paladin, um, tanking the two mobs. What the two other tanks really need to do, um, is very important on them, is they have to know which of his two mobs they are taunting if they're, if they're lying becomes active. Now typically what you want to do is you want to talk the higher energy one if it is inactive. Um, 
as as they go through it, if they're really paying attention, they'll start getting a feel from it. Um, you'll start communicating more. You'll they'll you'll start seeing them um, doing some things like energy swapping to smooth things out. Um, but up front, what you really want them to focus on is just getting the right mob. Um, you don't want back-to-back -back explosions on heroic. You will wipe um, heroic if petrification isn't going out. Um, actually. It's a 500k hit on Heroic. Um, petrification is your saving grace. So if you don't have it, you're dead. Now, the important thing with petrification, which um, from you know talking to some other people and uh, and other guilds uh, and stuff like that, um, a lot of people don't realize that the petrification it doesn't just slow you. It gives you 90% damage reduction to that school of magic. Jasper Petrification is where you want to break your Jasper Chains. Um, any players who get Jasper Chains, you want them stacked on top of each other. You don't want them taking any damage whatsoever, no matter what anyone thinks. Bottom line is, Jasper Chains, especially on Heroic, stand on top of each other, wait for Jasper Fet Petrification, and when Jasper Petrification goes out, it doesn't matter. You can see we have Cobalt Petrification, and you'll see players running around popping the Cobalt Mines. The reason being is you're only taking 10% of the damage, so the only real thing that's happening is you are getting rooted. Um, I don't remember in the kill if I popped any, but I do know even while tanking, um, I was popping some because the damage taken is so low. Amethyst just reduces damage taken by the puddles. Um, to, to your rate, it really should mean nothing. You don't want to be standing in puddles anyway. You don't want to build any bad habits. And not to mention, it's completely avoidable damage that uh, is completely irrelevant. Um, so just don't do it. You can see Jade Petrification going out. Jade Petrification um, really doesn't mean anything for anyone but the healers. What the Jade Lion does is occasionally he'll shoot out Jade Charge. You just saw it there um, a few seconds ago. Those Jade Charge, it's just raid-wide damage. So it, it decreases that by 90%, uh, which is nice for the healers. allows for a little bit of a mana regen phase. Now, a couple things with this encounter to keep in mind, um, you know, that you may not think of. Um, Shadow Priest, you want them glyphed, Vampiric, and Brace. Um, the glyph increase does, it causes their their healing from Vampiric and Brace to do 100% for 10 seconds instead of 50% for 15. Um, this can be a very, very strong healing cooldown if you end up getting two explosions very close, or it can be used to help really top your rate off. Um, what I would recommend is having a cooldown if possible every a raid-wide defensive cooldown um even a rallying cry would work um for every explosion in 25 man um as you should be able to do that um in 10 man you probably want to kind of hold them and call them out as you go um but thanks for watching guys i really hope that this helped you out uh the subscribe button's been on the screen the entire time um if you found this helpful please subscribe please please like it um uh, down below you will see um some information uh about the guild and and about uh this as well as a link to my my stream page uh which i do stream during hard mode progression um with mumble so you may be able to use that to learn um as we progress through encounters right now we're working on heroic garage all um if you have any questions please feel free to ask i'm going to keep my eye on it and i will answer them as in as much of a timely manner as possible uh keep your eye out for the heroic fin guide and uh thanks for watching